Hello, y'all, and thank you for a thousand subscribers. A thousand fourteen to be exact, but this video is a little bit late, but we've passed a thousand subscribers on this channel. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing, watching, enjoying the videos on this channel for the past three seasons of RSR since January 1st, 2019. Thank you for enjoying. It's been an amazing run so far. We've got more to go, but I'm so proud to have hit a thousand subscribers and I couldn't have done it without all of you. If you've just watched one video or you've watched a lot, if you just are lurking or have subscribed, if you're lurking, subscribe please, but I won't hold it against you. It means a lot to me that people would accept me. And I've worked my butt off this whole time, but especially the last year. Especially the last year, I've worked my butt off to get to this point. I wanted to get to a thousand by the end of this year. <laughs> I'm about four months ahead of schedule. Now I want 1,500. 1.5k by the end of the year but we're ahead of schedule and we're doing amazing all right everything that i've done has been such a blast over this past year over the whole time i've had this channel but the past year i've sort of buckled down and just gone as far as i could go to make this succeed i have went on monk mode, self-improvement, you know, all that jazz. If you're into that sphere of things, you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. Like Rolo Tomasi and all that, but you get it. Been focusing on myself, been working hard. I've had such a great year everybody's noticing my success everybody's not questioning me anymore because back when i started this run especially the last year especially the last year this part like this run from like three 200 subscribers to a thousand over the past year from this past august to this august from post mls is back on People were questioning me, saying I was delusional. I wouldn't make it. Now, a thousand isn't much, but guess what that means? If you're not already over 4,000 watch hours, basically partnership is right around the corner, I bet. I bet, right around the corner. Patreon's doing okay. Again, check that out. Link is in the description below. We'll get into that later. But everything's going well. People questioned me, saying this was going nowhere. People were saying, you're crazy. You know this isn't going to work out. And it wasn't anybody who was really close to me. It was people who wanted to see me fail because there were people who wanted to do that, who wanted that. And I was like, okay, fine. I'm going to show you. And I'm proud. All right, I'm proud of what I've done. I have proven without a shadow of a doubt that I'm on my way. I am on my way, and it's not just because of me. It's because of all of you who have stuck by me and joined this family on this channel. And I've done it with good amount of help. I've done it myself, but with a good amount of help. Mike, Sons of a Pitch, Soccer Central, Ryan LFC, I got to thank them because they have believed in me as well. They have believed in me as well. And they helped me have more of a platform as to where I could grow like this. So I have to thank them as well. This wasn't all me. And hell, the live streams that have popped me up on my own end... If I wasn't on that Atlanta Toronto live stream last year in October, I would not have known about StreamYard, which is how I do most of my streams. So SOP really helped me there. So that's what really started blowing me up. So really, I should thank him more than just a little bit, a lot, honestly. But again, both of them, they've gave me a giant platform and everything since then has just been 
growth, growth, growth. But the craziest part, looking back at it, was how at the end of June, I like gained a hundred some subscribers in a week while I was on vacation. That's what really led to this time frame of quick growth to get to a thousand. And then the next week, I got from 700 to 800. And that also because Armis, well, that Armis rant after the DC game really helped that one. And then 800 to 900 through the Gold Cup group stage. And then, well, now we're here. The day of the Gold Cup, or not the gold, the gold medal game in the Women's Olympics got to a thousand. And that was good. Hunky Calf League's done me well. Covering everything has been a blast. I've met so many amazing people, whether it be on YouTube, whether it be on Twitter, whether it be on Instagram, because of this growth. Or at least people who are starting to give me the time of day, you know? Because, again, the smaller you are, they weren't wrong, per se. At that point, I was crazy. At that point, when they said, you're not going to make anything out of this, the people who wanted to see me fail, you know what? They may have been right. They may have been calling me crazy for a reason, but guess what? Over the past year, I've proven that I'm not the crazy one, but I've had to put in the work, and I had to show that I'm the guy. I'm that dude. I will do it. Right? Right. And I put in that work. I busted my ass. And, you know, I'll say it because I did. I busted my ass. And am I a little bit burnt out right now? Yes. Am I still going to go till December so I can finish this season and then take a break? Yes. But we got more to go. We don't rest on our laurels here. We keep pushing. We keep moving. That's what you do at this time, in this situation. You keep moving. You keep growing. You keep showing that you are going forward. You keep climbing. You keep building your status. We do not, we do not rest on our laurels around here. The dynasty does not rest on our laurels. We do not rest on our laurels. And even the people around me that help me grow are growing too. And they don't rest on their laurels. Mike, SLP, Ryan, LFC, they don't rest on their laurels either. We all want this. That's why we're all working together. That's why we all want us to succeed. Because we all want the same thing. Now, I started a bit earlier so I could put everything into it. Without worrying about other things. But... They're doing pretty damn good themselves while having other things to juggle. Me, this all I got. This is all I want. I'm going to make it work. But they're doing damn, just as damn well too. But here's the thing. When you have people around you, when you have people around you that want you to succeed, that want you to do amazing things... You do amazing things. And everything that led up to this past year has put me into a position of, I want to do better. I want to go forward. And I always wanted to succeed on YouTube. And I always wanted to make this my, my thing, my job, my platform, all that. And it's on its way. But a thousand subscribers is that first big hurdle. But it's on its way. Right? And everything in the past year has really solidified my want to get to the top of the mountain. And I'm not halfway up there. I'm not even three-fourths of the way up there, but I'm like a fourth of the way up there. I'm almost to the middle of that mountain. And I'm climbing and I'm climbing and I'm climbing. But people could see that I'm doing amazing, that I'm doing good. That my value is raising and going higher and going higher and going higher. Right? Right. Now. It's all love. Everything I'm saying is all love. There were things that lit a fire under my ass. And I mean that in the most lovingly respectful way possible. 
I had fire lit under my ass over the past year. And I've done so much better. Because there was this want. This want to do better. There was this want to push forward. There was this want to make it here. There was this gut feeling. There was this mentality of I'm not quitting. I will prove you wrong because there were people to prove wrong. And I've always wanted to prove people wrong. And honestly, that's all love too, by the way. But I'm always right. I always prove myself right. When I think of something and when I want something, I know I'm right. I just got to get there. Or I just got to know. Right? But things always come to the light. Things always turn out for the ones who have good karma and hard work beside them. That's me. And that's me. And I'm so proud that people want to join me on this journey. Because for a while there, when I was just getting on this climb, there were people there who weren't on this journey. But even then, I've turned my haters into my fans. I'm too awesome to keep people hating on me. And when you grow, they'll join you or they'll stand behind you quiet because they don't want to basically be called out for being a hypocrite because trust me, if they did say, oh, I love what you're doing, I'd be like, yeah, but didn't you call me crazy two months ago and I was going nowhere? I'd call them out and they know that. So if they did flip to me, If I made my haters my fans, they're not going to talk. They're not going to talk. Some people would just say, okay, cool. No, I'm going to call somebody out on their hypocrisy. I hate that stuff. I hate hypocrisy. So I'm going to call them out on it. People are going to say, yeah, you kind of seem petty. I'm like, no. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I just don't allow disrespect. Back to the point. I've done amazing things. I've done some amazing things, some great things over the past year. Things are on the up for me on everything. I'm eating better because early on when I was blowing up and growing on this channel, I will say that I was sort of focusing everything on this and I was overthinking a lot and the only thing that could keep me away from overthinking into a way of breaking down was watching football. So those watch alongs helped me getting the idea for that and starting to do them helped me. And COVID also was around and Illinois was a pretty stringent state back in the fall and winter of last year as well. So that also helped. There was a contingent of things that those live streams helped. And I love football. And this channel is a football channel. But talking with y'all about football, meeting so many people across the region, Costa Rica, Honduras, El Salvador, Canada, USA, all that. Mexico, all that. It helped. And I've done so many amazing things because now... I don't overthink anymore. My, my mind does not stop thinking. But now, I'm at a place where I'm happy with where I am. I want to grow, but I'm happy with where I am. I'm doing amazing things. I'm gaining. I needed to gain weight. I'm eating a lot more. Three, four times a day. 2,000 calories. I'm going to start working out a little bit more so I can turn this into muscle. I'm going to tell you, by next summer, I'm going to look like mini Hulk. Okay, maybe Halloween because I really do want to do some with a Peacemaker costume. But other than that, of course, I'm going to lean into the mini crewmate thing. I kind of have anyway, right? Whatever. Now, with that said, I've been so much happier over the past six to seven months than I've been this whole time like I thought I was the happiest at the end of 2019 going into early 2020 
<laughs> no, no. Um, dipped a little bit, but at the end of 2020 to especially like January 2021 up till now, this is the happiest I've ever been. The proudest, the happiest. I am so happy with myself. And I'm happy that I'm going to do more and more to just get better. Because I'm happy with where I am because I'm doing good things. But I want to go forward. I want to move forward. I want to be happy with that. But I'm happy with where I am now. I don't want to fall back. I want to go forward. But I'm happy for being in a place where I keep moving forward inch by inch, step by step, mile by mile. And I'm happy with that. And I'm happy with everybody who's on the journey with me. I am. I am. And there are people who question me. There are people who doubted me. Don't do it anymore. And they aren't. That, nobody's doubted me since like what? April? Nobody's doubted me since April. I ain't heard a peep. I have not heard a peep out of people that have doubted me. The potential, they're seeing it grow. They're seeing the potential be realized. And they knew I had it, but they were afraid of it. Because people who don't want to do stuff and don't want to be great and just want to do the normal thing, thinking that's, oh, that's great. I'm normal. I'm doing the regular thing. And then I see somebody I know trying to do something amazing and trying to be special. I'm going to cut them down. Or try to before he gets there. But I didn't care. I'm a push. And I pushed through. And that's all that matters. I've done amazing things. I've done great things. And I'm so proud. And nobody. I've heard no peep. From anybody who questioned me since like April. None. None. It's been all smooth sailing since then. I'm on like the middle Atlantic. Feeling the sun on me, you know, figuratively, you know, figuratively, that's what I'm saying, figuratively, right, and look at me, look at me, I've done amazing things, I've done great things, I've done things that are so damn fun over this past year, Nashville, that was amazing, that was amazing, these videos doing so well. That was amazing. This year has been such a great moment. And we've got more to go. All right. And we're going to keep on going. This is not it. This is just the beginning. And I thank you for being on my side. Running with me. Rolling with me. You are the dynasty. You are my people. Subscribers. I love you. Thank you for being here. We keep moving we keep going and that's all that matters all right that's all that matters and i'm so proud that you have chosen to go on this journey with me whether you've been here since the first day whether you've been here since yesterday i don't care you joined you're on this journey with me and we'll gain more people on this bandwagon as we go down cr cross country up and down east and west from Alaska to Timbuktu to Toronto to Mexico City to everything. All right? To Alawela. To San Pedro Sula. All the way around the world. Figuratively and literally. Because at some point I will be traveling like mf -er, Pulling some Andrew Tate-like stuff, you know? There's a reason they call me Mr. Amazing, am I right? There's a reason they call me Mr. Amazing. I'm the most, because let's be honest, I'm the most hot I've ever been. I'm the smartest I've ever been. I'm the greatest I've ever been. I'm the best I've ever been. This is the time. I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'm everything. Everything is the best right now that I've ever been. And I'm on my way to the top. And if you're in my way, I'm going to push you to the side. If you're with me, walk behind me. Climb behind me. I will take you to the mountaintop with me. Because this isn't just about me. I'm having fun. I'm talking, but you listen. I preach what I think about my team, about football, about these games, and you listen. 
and you love to listen. And even then, I could do other videos. I could make a second channel being positive and just self-help and all that. And it goes a long way. In this video, this video, if y'all love this, I would not be shocked because I am being so positive. I'm pushing my energy out to you. And if this wants you to get up and do something amazing, I'm happy about that because that's what I want you to do. I want you watching out there at home on your phone, on your computer, on your TV. Hell, if you could watch it on your freaking dash in your car, which I know there's something like that, right? If you're watching there, I want you to do something amazing just like I did. Just like I have been. I want you to feel this motivation. There's something that you want to do. I know in your heart. There's something in your heart that you want to do. Do it. You will do amazing at it. You will find your way. And I hope, I hope my experiences, my positivity helps you do that. Self-improvement is the name of the game. I want everybody to feel my energy and feel my happiness and say, you know what? I feel like I want to do something that I've, I've always wanted to do. That's what I want to see. Because that is helping the community. We are a community. We are a family on this channel. We are the dynasty. I am the dynasty Don Dada. I am the leader, but you are my community. You are my people, and I want to see you succeed just like I'm succeeding. So if that means you want to play FIFA, start streaming FIFA on YouTube or Twitch, go right ahead. I believe in you. If that means you want to start building muscle and working out at the gym and become a strong man, strong woman, if they're part of my audience, do it. Work out. Gain strength. Gain muscles. If you want to go on a diet and eat better and have a better physique, do it. I want y'all to do better just like I'm doing better. We all inspire each other to do better. And that's the thing I want to see out of this. I'm open anywhere. Talk to me on Twitter. Talk to me on Instagram. If you are trying to, or even in the comments of this video or another video, if you're trying to do amazing things, I will always push forward. I will always push you forward to do amazing things. And I want you to help push me forward. This is a relationship as to where we all do better. And that's what I want to see. That's one of my biggest goals, honestly. I want to see my viewers do better just as I'm doing better. And I don't care what they're trying to do that's better for them. A big promotion, a big raise, a big try to start a YouTube channel, a big YouTube channel. Work out. Don't do bad on a diet. Try to get it going forward, you know? Self-improvement, that's what I want. And I love that I have this community that will, and I know, will help each other to do things as well, if they so choose. I know you feel the positivity. I know you feel the belief. I know you feel the happiness. And that's the good thing. I'm so proud of what I've done, and I want to be proud of you as well. Because you have helped me be proud of myself and do amazing things. I want you to do the same. And that's one thing about this video. This isn't just a thank you. This is a call to action. This is a call to action to do better. I've done my part. I have grown due to this channel. And there always has to be a person who pushes their fans to do better. 
And I think everybody who's a big YouTuber does that. At least if they actually care about their... They care about their community. I do. I care about everybody in my community. I care if you enjoy these videos. But I also care about you. I want you to do amazing things as well. I want to inspire you to do great things. And I want to see success and happiness. I don't want to just do great because of people jumping on my bandwagon. I want to see the people in my community do great things as well because I've inspired them. That brings a smile to my heart, a smile to my soul. I want you to believe in yourself just like I've believed in myself. I want you to do great things just like I've done great things because that is the way that I believe the world should be. I do. And I want things to be amazing for everybody. I do. And this is a start. So with that said, I have a song cover that fits this moment as a thank you. The cover, a cover of the song, The Time of My Life by David Cook. I'm going to throw it to that right now. I've been waiting for my dreams to turn into something I could believe in and looking for that magic rainbow on the horizon. I couldn't see it until I let go. I gave in to love and watched all the bitterness burn. And now I'm coming alive, a body and soul. I'm feeling my world start to turn. And I'll taste every moment and live it out loud. I know this is the time. This is the time to be more than a name or a face in the crowd. I know this is the time. This is the time of my life. Holding on to things that have vanished into the air. Left me in pieces, but now I'm rising from the ashes, finding my wings. I know that I needed was there all along within my reach. As close as the beat of my heart, and I'll taste every moment and live it out loud. I know this is the time, this is the time to be more than a name or face in the crowd. I know this is the time, this is the time of my life. The time of my life. And I'm out on the edge of forever. Ready to run. Keep my feet on the ground. My arms open wide. My face to the sun. And I'll taste every moment. And live it all night. I know this is the time. This is the time to be more than a name or face in the crowd. I know this is the time. This is the time of my life. My life. More than a name or face in the crowd. I know this is the time. This is the time of my life. The time of my life. That was pretty good, eh? That was pretty good, eh? I hope you enjoyed it. It'll at least go on my Finsta as well because... And TikTok as well, just because I can. So at least more people could hear it. But I thought it was a good cover. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, like, share, subscribe. Tell all your friends. Go subscribe to my Patreon. Five, ten, or twenty dollars a month. Anything's appreciated. Help support the channel. You'll be awesome if you do. Anything is appreciated besides Patreon, subscriptions, comments, likes, all that. You go be awesome. 
Go do something amazing. I want you to do amazing. Make me proud just like you've made me proud. Okay? I hope I inspired you with this video. I really do. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. It means a lot for you to have supported me like this. All of you. Whether you just jump on and see this video or see it now or have been here the whole time. I hope I've inspired you and I hope I've made you smile and happy at some point. Thank you for helping me do great things and be amazing like I know I can be. And this is not the start. This is not the finish, I should say. This is not the start because there was that and this is not the finish. We keep on going, all right? We keep on marching. We keep on trucking, all right? As long as we tracking, all right. Tuesday, if I can stream from YouTube finally by the phone, I will do a live stream for Leon Sporting Kansas City. If I can stream it, RSR for Tigres, Seattle. If I can stream, if I can't stream, I'll just do the RSR for Kansas City Club Leon because I'll probably be better for my views anyway. But we'll see. So. You'll see me then for the League's Cup. I'm Ryan. I'm out. Peace. Love y'all.